I wound up in the World Bank Group after a stint in the private sector, as and uh, I ascended within the corp with the company and uh, became um, the head of property, um, global property in um, IFC, which is a part of the World Bank Group. And um, so we had over a hundred offices around the world, um, and I was in charge of them in addition to the main building, so about <coughs> uh, 5,000 staff total. And I spent my life traveling, going around the world, um, hiring architects. Uh, the last architect I hired was David Ajay, who, who did the um, African American Museum on the Mall. So it was, it was a fascinating career. But when I uh, retired, um, it was compulsory retirement at 62, so uh, I had to leave. And um, I ended up going back to my first passion, which was art. This, this series that you're looking at is um, it's based on superheroes, um, and the reason I chose it is I'm very interested in identity. So my art is, is not of things that you see, but of things that you, you feel and think, or I do. I grew up in Portugal, and my first exposure to America was through comics, my brother's comics. And at that time, girls weren't supposed to read comics. So in my very young brain, I came to equate America with that, with the progressive uh, sort of agenda, the, the movement forward, the enthusiasm, and, uh, and you know, the good guys you know, prevailing. And of course, over time, one becomes a little more mature in the way you see things, but it's, it's always stuck with me, that idea. And, and I'm almost convinced that that's why I'm here today, that I kind of ended up as an exchange student in Cleveland at 18 because I wanted to visit America. And because of that, I ended up eventually coming back again in my early 20s and, and staying. Yeah. Because of